So different modes have different friction settings. I want to know a number value to what's what. Why don't you look at the camera while you say that, and then because well, I was you'd prompting you because you're doing the answer. Oh, okay. It's your intro. So different modes of different rappel devices have different friction, and we're going to measure how much friction each one has, because Brent figured out if you put the load cell right here with a consistent five pound weight on the tail, as if you're just hanging on to the rappel strand, how much force it takes in order to get this to move. And instead of measuring distance or time or anything, we decided the line scale three was the best thing to figure out how much force it took before this started to go down. What's elaborate about Brent's setup here is this six mil Dyneema goes down, over, up, over, down, and then he has a five to one pulley he can use to put a lot of pressure on this. So just for an example, it's taking 28 pounds of force for this to go through. Now what's nice is this is consistent. The five pound weight is consistently putting the same amount of pressure on the right. tail. That's gonna be for all of this. Now, don't freak out about our freedom units. When we're not dealing with very much force, I don't wanna talk about 0.4 or 0.5 kilonewtons. I wanna talk about a number, and because it's America, we're gonna use pounds. Don't focus on the unit of measurement as much as the difference between mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. Mm -hmm. So for the first test, we got the uh, Palicoa Pivot. This is in the lowest friction mode um, with no wraps on the legs. And we're just gonna pull it on yeah, the bottom. Consistently 28, 30 pounds. This, this is, is the system that you'd have to pre-set up before you start going yep. down. Otherwise yep. you have to take Go your weight it. off to flip this over that leg. Yep. Oh. 70. That's more than double having it in this mode. All right, so there's the highest friction mode setting. So behind the device. Yep, so it's behind both legs. And you have to take your weight off to fix that. Correct, yep. Wow, the fact that you're able to get so much force. <laughs> <laughs> I like this test, man. So this is back to Mode one or low friction, yeah. initial, and I'm just gonna go a half. 46, 50, 44. This is, this, this this is, is working really well. I told you, man, there's gotta be this, an easier way to figure this out because I, I do was, not wanna go up and I down was this have many to go times. Up and down every time, I was gonna be the weight. And then we realized that wasn't a consistent or a good consistent result all the I way mean, through. I mean, I was willing to let it play out to watch you go up and down <laughs> that many times, but honestly, I knew you would only wouldn't have no, made it I, through yeah, this yeah. test. We definitely no tried way. to do a good a design of experiment, but uh, I think this is working well. Now you have it flipped over the front yep. behind that bottom yep. twist of the leg. Yep. There's a lot of modes with this Pelicoa. Oh uh, yeah, there's several. So I'm not gonna go through them all. I'm just for, using for modes. <laughs> yeah, so many. modes that are similar, that I've seen similar across all the devices. So this is about the same no matter what device we're gonna throw in here right now. I enjoyed using this because so I could, equal. on the fly, move stuff around as I was making the decision as I'm going down on what feel, felt comfortable. Yeah. Yep, that's the whole reason these devices exist. As a climber, when I'm using either a Grigri ATC or whatever, especially if I have a big haul bag under me and I get in, in a rappel and I'm like, oh, this is fast. Or, damn, I'm stuck. My <laughs> climb height's just, right. <laughs> yeah, never mind. This is great. Okay, ready? Oh, oh, is it, it's, it's holding, wow, 180 pounds. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of friction. Bam. So this, hold on, to there, to there. Oh, you want to do I a bet wrap? Bet you can't do that. 350. Things, things are creaking. 340. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. I'm impressed, bud. All right, so give me a tour of this mechanical advantage, disadvantage redirect thing you got. It's actually interesting. Um, so I wanted to take advantage of the full length here of uh, throw. 
for the test. So it goes down and it redirects back up to the ceiling because I don't want to be pulling up for this experiment. It's a lot easier for me to pull down. And if I want to just pull with my body weight, I can just pull directly on. And that's just in the sheetrock up there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's one of those uh, molly bolts in the sheetrock. <laughs> Um, so either I could I can pull directly on the line, but on this. If that's not enough, which we've seen it is not. Yeah, I've got this little double pulley ball. Is this ball bearings? Yep. Okay. And then this is a Dyneema core core. And that's fixed to that bolt down there. Yeah. And because otherwise we'd have to pull from down here, yeah, and to do that with like mechanical yeah. advantage is not going to happen. See, that's where you thought you were going to have to be climbing up here because to have all this below that device, it just the redirect yeah. is fine. Eh? Pretty clever. Keeps us to go from here to here quite well. So uh, let's change devices now. Yep, swap them out. Critter two mode one, go for it. Okay. 30 to 34. Medium friction mode on Critter 2. Yeah, one thirty, one forty. Yeah. Critter 2 in high friction mode. Critter two, on the fly, option one. One hundred. Critter two, two wraps, on the fly, friction mode. Looks like a lot of friction. Yep. Oh, you almost, almost, almost. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. The wow. fact you're even getting 350 pounds right now is pretty cool. Damn near a lock off. <laughs> Whoa, you're at 450. Pop, pop, wow. pop. Wow. That's popping. 500 pounds to get this to move. 500 pounds. That's amazing. Who do in normal mode? 50 pounds. Who do with a little bit of friction mode? Oh, damn it. I need the multiplier. No, you don't. You got it. 130, 130. It's moving at 130. I got it. I what got this. I got this. What are you doing? I got this. Pulling. As hard as I can. Okay, 130. Who do in the high friction mode? Oh gosh. Three, oh, you got it. There you go. 340. I'd say 340. Who do with a little bit of friction? All right, mucho friction mode. Ah. Not as much as I thought. Not as much as I thought, yeah. Seems to be averaging the 250, 270 range. 30 pounds in the low friction mode. ATC high friction mode with the Petzl Reverso. Oh, oh, look at that. That actually makes a lot of a difference. Super high friction mode. Oh. Oh, you're just stretching rope at this point. Oh, you almost got it, you almost got it, you almost got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 500 pounds to make that do that. Yeah. That's interesting. It's interesting, that's what people call it. Go. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I didn't think, got it. I didn't think it was gonna go that fast, and then once it started, I'm like, well, just ride it out. <laughs> 20, about 20 pounds. 
Oh, that's not that's not any higher of a friction mode. An eight. Ah, I guess fifty. It's like technically fifty-five. And this is Troll Patrol, so yes. it's important that you see this. Yep. What do you have to say? Um, so we ran the tests on the eight and the ATC, and the key difference with these is you, you're going to see some of the similar forces and go, oh, why why can't I use that device over the other? And it's important to remember that the variable friction devices that we use in cannoning, a lot of that extra force is created on the fly, meaning I've already started my repel, and the conditions are changing while I'm repelling, and I can change it as needed. So all the testing you saw with an ATC was all before you started your, your repel. Now, this test is trying to isolate a few things, right? We have a five pound weight on this and you can not repel if it's gonna take you 500 pounds of force to move. Yeah. But that is if you're using a skinnier rope, if you're a heavier person, if it's a wet rope, if it's steeper, if it's lower angle. And sometimes when I start a repel and I have a lot of heavy rope, at least in climbing, it's like being fireman belayed by the weight of my own rope. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, and then when you get halfway down, you're like, oh my God, I'm going fast. Yep. So the variable friction devices, so on the fly or while you're in mid repel, you can just go whoop and add a loop. And I think the, these tests in this video are showing that what a, another loop will do. It'll give you yeah. 10 times the friction, 10 times based on this. Right. Now, of course, you can lift this up a little and feed in something that would otherwise be a 500 pounds of force thing. Right. In order to get yourself to move. Yep. Don't get hung up on the metrics, the units, not metric at all, actually. <laughs> Don't get hung up on the unit of measurement here. It's the difference between low friction mode and high friction mode. Exactly. And kilonewtons go, oh, it's 0.1, oh, it's 0.4. Doesn't make as good of a graph. Yep, and the numbers are gonna change on a different rope. Um, we did choose the rope that was uh, the slipperiest, lowest coefficient of friction, just so we could get smoother action uh, during the test and whatnot. But like, there's a lot of people who use a 9.5 Technora sheath rope, which is going to be a higher friction rope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it made this test <laughs> more, <laughs> more difficult just because the numbers are bigger, We'd but the blow the plywood out of the, the yeah. <laughs> off the wall trying to pull in high friction mode on yeah, this. Yeah, we already got some interesting creaking going on. <laughs> yeah. And then this is uh, six or seven mil? Six mil uh, pure Dyneema. Yeah, and that's what he's been using as a redirect, which has also been interesting to see how this is reacting as to this. Where can they learn where to mitigate abrasion? Uh, you know, I think there's a course somewhere that... I bet it's a tiny course. Yeah, though. on yeah. a website. Squirrel low friction mode, go! 40, 36. On the fly mode one. Hmm, that doesn't really add much. Two friction modes on the fly. Ooh, nine. Squirrel in three friction mode. Oh, that's neat. Two, two ten. Squirrel in a stupid friction mode. 500 for, yeah, five, it's, it's, you gotta get into the 500 before it starts moving and then, and then it drops to 400. Yeah, wow. Palakoa number two, Palakoa squirrel mode, Palakoa pivot mode. Palakoa pulling mode. Palakoa pivot mode with a little bit more friction. I'm gonna call that one 60. Palicoa pivot mode, pivot another option. Yeah, it'll probably stay. Oh, you got some friction. It's in the 180 range for it's gonna pop off. If you pull fast, you're getting into the 200. Oh, and then it popped. That's freaking great, dude. 200. 230. 230. I'd call it 230 because it was between 200 and 260. Oh, things are creaking. 550. This is the 550. You're just stretching rope, dude. Whoa. I heard something crack. Go, 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 go. Actually.
Dude, 550, it's not moving. I just don't think anybody's going to need more than that with nope. this size rope. No. Nope. Oh, you're, you're de-sheathing your ropes? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great for that rope. Yeah. That's a cheap rope, right? <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah, that's... I'd say we'll call that the 400 mode. <laughs> Low friction mode. Okay. About the same. About 40, the same. 50 pounds. What's this friction mode? Oh, that mode? It's not going anywhere. <laughs>